Welcome to Bro Disc Coverage from West Side of Woodville, Day 1. We have highlights from the feature card and some photos and short clips shot with body cam to bring you the essence of this unique tournament. We have model appearance, Campbell Bud, Arthur Horn, and Stephen Gardner. And we had a great round. Yeah, bro. Heaps good. Except for one thing. I didn't play that well after a few holes. It's been so long since I had a competitive round. Not that it was that much to compete in. I don't know why. You decided to play as you were so unfit after all that food in the holidays. I need the exercise. That's why I do it, Gus. It's nervous before the start of a tournament, but this one was very relaxed. Some shots of Hayden there from the dish shop. Yeah, this thing only yeah, shows me starting on two. Can't get back to work. Yeah, and first off the tee, Ryan Keto, chief instructor of the east side of Woodville, and donor. Help the first tee! Get up, Ryan Keto! I am Gus Heiser, and you're watching Bro Disc coverage from west side of Woodville, part of the Down Under Bro Tour. <laughs> Next on the tee box we have Andrew Falconer, previous recipient of the most improved award, Brook Park. It's getting better every time I see him. <laughs> All of a sudden, before you know it, it is time to tee off. Just me and the cousins. First throw, since the Tupui breeze at a tournament. Felt like it went alright. Didn't hit a car anyway. Disc of choice on that shot was a Axiom Disc Insanity. Sort of feels like that's what you have to do on this hole. A blind hole on the first. But that's not too bad. Next up, I'm going to use Zero Hard Pure, a long range putt. Just have to throw it enough. It should go in a straight line. Straight line, but off centre. Not by much. Now what I did here was a bit stupid. I didn't even take a metre relief. Two metres because of the prickle. Which actually got my finger. Oh that's true, got a prickle up my ass too, wouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I wasn't feeling too bad after the first hole, there Gus. That's pretty straightforward. On to hole two. So it's a par for everyone on hole one, and now you have a shot through a gateway or over a shed to the adjacent paddock. Yeah, 
had a problem deciding what to use on this hull so I went with my green member it's a lightweight but of course it tends to hug to the right a little bit when you release it wrong So everybody gets away safely without you have to land in that paddock though, don't you? Any, any risk. Oh, right. And I do land in that paddock. This is the trouble. So I'm not the only one ha having a hard time deciding which disc to use. Oh, yeah, that's and now I'm up on two. Come back, come back. Okay. Went on that side of the fence, on the but, right side. Eh? On the right -hand side. Yeah, but it might be poking through, it was right on the fence. It's a pity we don't get the whole shot in with your wonky camera work. Here's another example, Gus. Yep. Uh, we're just at the early stages of development with the uh, body cam. Anyway, the next shot's a leopard. I don't get the end of the shot, but I know it goes straight towards the basket. And we'll catch up with this later. We'll go and see where my other green disc is. As you yeah, can tell, I like the colour green. Yes. Four discs. Goes with the grass. Go figure. So that was my green member off the tee. Now we'll go and see where my leopard is. And I'll part with a pure but soft plastic. Here it is. As long as they're not playing with that can of beer. <laughs> <laughs> it's a non-playing can. Because <laughs> that's the only reason you can use a disc, eh? Non-playing. That's my attempt at humour. Yeah, great. Anyway, I've got a four there. So I went out of bounds on the fence, otherwise if I had to come back in. Maybe it was a disc choice. Anyway, on to the next hole, hole three. So I was at B, so four for me. Fishing around in my bag for the insanity. Or the member. Not too sure which one I'm gonna throw. And I miss out on Arthur's crush there. Oh I've got to get it over the black fence first. Oh here we go. Oh, yep. On the tee again. <laughs> got the big prickle on my finger from the fence line before. But 
I need to concentrate on the goal for a minute. Going for a backhand with the Innova Mamba. I use a lightweight disc because I've got noodle arms. 148 grams. Here it goes. Oh, at least it's over. And it went over the fence, that's the main thing. And off we go again. And that's where I landed, which is not too bad. I'm pretty happy with that. I wish I could throw further than that. What I'm going to use here the old trusty leopard, the old beaten up DX plastic. No, 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 no. You've got such a clean ultra for it. Yeah, my aptitudes are good. <laughs> Shots are only good because my drives and cuts are so bad. That's how I feel anyway. And this is where the disc ended up. Not too far from the hole, but far enough. Getting out my zero hard pure by latitude. Oh, fuck off to one side. So it's another bogey for me. So I'm not too unhappy about because I had a couple of reasonable shots. So. up on hole four again. A bit of a distance drive. I tried it out last night. I'll be lucky to get there in three. But we're going to pull out the member and give it another crack. Bit of a stretch. So I want to reach my arm off.
can't throw that far. Yeah. I could maybe get there in three. Yeah, that was a nice throw. Come back to it. Yeah. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Yeah. Fucking yeah. hooked it. It's Hook. not uh, without a shot either. Again, you've got to stop throwing that member. He hooked it badly to the right though. So maybe it's not the end of it, but there's another point, and I'm still a long way from the basket. Still, nothing that a sidearm can't keep me out of. Insanity. Flies again. And we'll go and see where that one went. Just there. Not too bad. Gonna hit it again with the zero hard pure. Some some would say use the sinus, sinus. But I've been using the zero hard for a while now. Gets me in fairly close. Hit the fence around the basket, so Gotta that's not too bad. That's the trouble. stop going out of bounds and everything will start to work out fast.
No, uh, four. Yes. Oh, that looks yeah. good. Oh, too high. Oh. Has it come out? I think it skipped through. Good shot, though, guys. It was yeah. nice. One, one, one. <laughs> there ain't no coming through there. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that means. I made it through. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. And made it through, no. though. No so there we <laughs> are. It's got a, <laughs> a lattice fence on the other side, oh, so those people think it won't. But <laughs> that one made it through. Oh, I'm happy. We're a bit further away, so this time I'm going to use the sinus, sinus, here we go, put the leopard back, that was just my old beaten up leopard that I threw there. And we'll see how we go with the sinus, quite like this is a butter, butter drive. See how close I can get anyway. Oh, too high. Can't too high. Bad. Yeah. Then mind. Onwards and upwards. Now that I'm up close, I'm still going to rely on the sinus. And it doesn't work. Uh, enough. I should have used the pure soft. Are you starting to blame your discs for your poor performance that should have been a par and you know it? Gonna have a look at hole six, which is also hole four. We've got a little bit of time lapse and a few different shots around there. It's a popular little hole, this one. That's the basket there, but we're aiming at it through the trees, through the tunnel. This is the hole four view of the same basket.
Last three. Nice nice nice. Yeah, yeah. Sick. Give me a little taste. Okay, we'll throw, go straight through. <laughs> That's what I want to do, of course. But I had a tree straight in front of me. Never mind. I think I used my trusty leopard here, yep. And try and get myself out of trouble. Side arm through the gap. Getting out of trouble seems to be a habit after getting into trouble with bad teeth. Come here. Oh, I'm not sure if I have Oh, sit. Oh, B. What happened next, as is that you went looking for your disc and turned off the camera. So we have to cut to a drone shot. This is where it turns into a highlight reel, guys. So here we are now on hole 8. We've already teed off, we're right near the basket, but some of them are. Ooh. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's what happens. There's the... Do you want another go? Sorry about the wind noise. That was nice. I'm up there with the sinus because it's a bit heavier for me. Oh, bounce off. Fuck. I was sharing the pain. <laughs> Must be the fucking angle. Must be the angle, eh? <laughs> <laughs> fucking bounce in and bounce out again. Woo! Good set. Good set. Good. Don't like this hole. <laughs> Well, you can see it's my frustration. Ten holes to go. Well, Ryan's neighbours probably, Jill, uh, watching people tee off on the road there. That's where the tee off is. And oh, we're yeah. going to skip through to hole 11 on the same property. <laughs> to see what's happening there with my state of play. Get it. 
Well, no, really. Well, I think that's it. You? Um, well, I reckon the night's always been quite interesting. This always gets a lot of people with a line of trees. Of course I, it's about my distance, but a lot of people poke through or go over the top of these trees. Now I'm using a, oh, shit. a newer leopard there, and Whoa. it doesn't fly the same as the green one. Oh and shit! I go out of bounds. Again! Wrong disc, really. Wrong disc, exactly. Oh, my attempted recovery shot. Fairly straight, but not good enough. Whoa. At least I had a stab at it. Well, the scoreboard isn't looking that good for me anyway. But it's time to head back through the farm gates out onto Franklin Road and go down to the end of the road to the other part of the course. And I think I skip a couple of holes here so we just see a brief view of that. But there's plenty more coming from west side of Woodville. We're only on the first round here. That was good.
mean, yeah, bro, heaps good. Next there. Oh, fucking wrong way. Wrong way. Fuck. <laughs> oh yeah, mark this. Come on, come on. Hole 16 here. You can sense my frustration, and you can see why. So you didn't even get one birdie. That's a shit game from you, Dad. Didn't all record everything because it was too frustrating. Too many fives. It was still a great day at Woodville. Some great people to play with. What more could you ask for? Here are some other photos and the rest of the day and how that unfolded in a pictorial form. Over stable seven speed, so like it's gonna go, it's gonna get like what is you're still getting speed.
Join us for day two coverage from West Side of Woodville sometime in the future, isn't it, Daz? It is away because you are still editing the Fault Line Fury. For fuck's sake. Don't forget to subscribe, it doesn't cost you anything, and it helps grow disc, film disc golf in Aotearoa.